I'm going to call up real quickly a couple of names here because we spoke before about ZTNA, and you said, I'm not going to really call it that, but I am going to call it private access networking. Um, so I've called up a Zscaler, a Palo Alto, a Cisco, um, Cloudflare, uh, which you know originally started as just CDN, but is also doing edge computing and, and networking. So here's sort of the names that are out there. I can, If you have another one you want me to throw in this sort of uh, data POC, if you will, I, I will, but I do want to talk a little bit about this, you know, zero trust networking access or private access networking, just kind of killing the VPN um, yeah. and, and moving more towards a software defined solution. So these are the names that come to mind for me. I'm happy to call up another one, but we're seeing here um, Zscaler, all spends coming down. So I wouldn't spend too much time on that as we're seeing mm -hmm. budgets are coming down in general, but they're still leading the space. Palo Alto, less volatile, being a little bit more stable. Uh, Cisco, probably not to your surprise, kind of here on farther on the right. But uh, when you take a look at these names, any differentiation, any that you champion or you call out, do you think are doing a great job? Well, yeah, I think there's some differentiation from uh, reputation and confidence. So as I said earlier, you know, we, we're not even looking at Cisco. They're, they're not even on a conversation anymore. And it's most the of the Cisco with... shops were ones that were already Cisco shops, right? To be fair, they already had their hardware firewalls and then the software defined firewalls. And if you were well, already we're... a Cisco shop, you're more likely to evaluate them than net new. We're, we're a Cisco shop in the network stack. But okay, understood. We're, we're, we're going to market for that. And we're not even talking to Cisco. Um, Zscaler, Palo Alto, you know, Prisma, Netscope. There's another company that is interesting, but I'm not sure that they're viable called iBoss. Okay, I don't know it. I'm going to write that one down. Thank which you. I would which I would say directly compete with Zscaler and Netscope. All right, I need that, to know about um, that one. Again, I'm not sure they're viable. I think they're I think they're <laughs> trying to play catch up. Um, I think you know Zscaler has a lot of the market share and I think a lot of the conversation and the buzz. Do I think they're the best one in the space? No, I don't. Um, do I think Zscaler and Netscope are somewhat synonymous? Like you could sort of interchange them because they're essentially mirror images of each other at this point. Those are the two that I think really live in the space. If you're a Palo Alto fan, you'll be looking at Prisma. Um, but I think between Zscaler, Netscope, and Palo Alto Prisma, those are the three that are going to win the market share. Like I said, I'm hearing more and more people leaving Cisco Umbrella than coming to Cisco Umbrella. Okay. At least in at least in my segment. Yeah, and they're trying to come up with a, an answer to Prisma. I think it's called um SecureX, uh, mm -hmm. that they're offering their 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 Cisco clients that's trying to kind of answer the Prisma. But to your point, you know, Zscaler came out as cloud native, uh definitely yep. had all the hype around them. Netscope's been around a long time, but uh, has, has seemed to be able to keep up. With, with some of the new entrants as well. And then I'd say Cloudflare is the newest one because they're just expanding their security portfolio. And more and more people might not be aware that they do it as well as to what you know their, their core competencies are.